Chicago for a while. Everywhere I go now. This one. That was my dad's thing. What's up, guys? Yeah. How's it going? First night in Costa Rica, fire show. I decided to leave my home, my religion, everything that I was raised with. I got kicked out of my house when I was 17 years old, just going on 18. And I was actually homeless for like six or seven months. Um, graduating high school, I didn't have anywhere to go or really anybody to lean on. And I went through some like really shitty things, especially being like an 18 year old girl by herself in the world. Going from a religion that was super sheltered to just being chucked into the world. Um, I had to learn a lot of things the hard way and I got this tattoo when I was 18 which is the necklace that you guys all have. Um, I drew this because I tried to get it as a reminder to not self-harm which is why I have it on my wrist and this tattoo was just kind of like a aimless like more just for myself um, and I started sharing my story about it and I got it made into a necklace so I could wear it every day. I wore this necklace for probably three years before I made it into a company and so many people asked about the dagger that I was like, I should make this into something that is like tangible for other people to have. Because every time they'd ask about it, I'd start talking about my mental health and then someone else would be like, oh, I also have a mom who struggles with alcohol abuse or I have been sexually assaulted and like it really just, the jewelry and the pieces are just physical reminders to provoke that conversation of mental health. And again, it's not, oh, woe is me. Like, it doesn't have to, have, to, have to be sad, but being able to open up to people, finding beauty in the pain that you've been through and becoming a better person for it. And every single one of you guys on this trip inspires me in some type of way because you have a story. It's not a trip based off numbers or followers or engagement. It's you guys, each of you inspire me in some type of way. And that's why we're all here. Um, influencer trips. I started doing social media when I was 18 and initially the thought was okay we take a bunch of people with so much um, influence and go to a third world country where they have significantly less than us, we're able to talk about the culture, um, spread the message of people that really need help because as much as we all deal with mental health we also know that there's a lot of other major world issues going on. So. I used to do trips um, a couple years ago, mostly to third world countries, where every single time I went, I was working with a charity group called Karmagawa, and we would build schools for kids, um, go clean up natural disasters. Like there was a hurricane in Turks and Caicos, and I went and like picked up dead dogs for two days. Um, there's shit like that going on all over the world all the time, and a lot of what the social media space has come about is self promotion and self indulgence versus actually bringing awareness to things that are going on. So that's kind of what I want this trip to be. Um, obviously, to for all of us to relate and talk amongst ourselves and relate to one another and have that cathartic experience, but also at the end of this trip, we're gonna be going and spending uh, three to four hours with the local charity that's like 15 minutes away from here. Spend time with kids and get to actually like interact with the community. And um, Beauty and Pain will be making a donation to the charity, and if any of you guys wanna donate, you're more than welcome. But I think that's, really what these trips are about is to bond with people, have genuine memories and experiences and hopefully come out of this gaining something. It's been so incredible for me to turn such like a shitty situation that I was put in into something so beautiful and like to be here in this house with, to go from being homeless to having the resources to do stuff like this, like I'm so grateful every single day. Um, I'm grateful that you guys are here and believe in what I'm doing and I appreciate all of you taking the chance on this and I'm super excited for this trip. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's up guys? I'm Charlie Jordan. I'm Mike Saad. 
Um, I'm Rachel, and this is Tom, my husband. We're married. <laughs> I'm Emma. And I'm Gage Bills. We're Seb and Kayla. What's up, babies? I'm Shayla. And we're? Shayla and Thea. <laughs> and we are here on the Beauty and Pain Retreat in beautiful San Marino, Costa Rica, uh, celebrating the launch of the Women's Athleisure Line, which I'm super excited about. What I loved about this retreat is Charlie brings the most amazing people together and she brings people together that truly represent her brand and what she stands for. Beauty and Pain, I think Charlie has a big focus on mental health and uh, people being open about it and that workshop gave us a chance to share some of our own journeys. We are all from different walks of life. We have so many different experiences that have made us who we are today. They're hearing everybody's different stories and learning that everybody comes from different backgrounds and the reason that everybody in this group is such an amazing and strong person is because they've gone through some hard things in the past and so really it's just living proof that there is so much beauty in the pain.